Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Today's topic about my advice to everyone how to practice effectively, and especially in this case, how to determine not doing, like overdo it. Means like, say you pick some tune, guitar solo, for example, and there's, you know, bending or, you know, comping and, or, you know, diminished phrase in there, it's a little bit more sophisticated and you really want to, you know, study. And this has happened to one of my fan and who loves my, you know, material and he really worked on this guitar etude book and one of the song and a little bit difficult to play. Especially chord melody, walking bass sign. Okay, so where is it? Blues for Joe. That's like page 24. I can show you. Yeah. So that beginning beginning part is pretty simple. Root 37, just play, you know, picking. So that's the part is okay. But this is etude. So, you know, gradually it become really hard. Okay. So after that, you see a little bit more notes. And this is where the trouble begins because a lot finger noise because chords moving so much and walking bass sign right walking bass sign and then single note just an example so another of each time three notes four note chords and walking bass sign and solo and they're difficult to do you know and what happened was, student, I mean, stu my fan, play, played uh, everything good, everything good, you know. But so many notes, you see. So what happened was, he could not articulate every note as written as you hear. So what happened was, he pushed so many hours to learn every note, which is not a bad idea, but without any foundation technique. So he had heavy finger, left hand, thumb position, kind of holding a neck like that, and that, that's really slow down, you know, walking bass line solo. And picking was pretty good, but left hand was very heavy. So no matter how many hours you spend this, won't work because that technique is holding down. So I taught him how to decide whether this particular thing is good for you or if something doesn't work, how you adjust that. So number one, this book says you should play tempo such such, just suggestion. So he literally, you know, took that one. So he put the metronome on and practice, and that's not good because this is not this is not private lesson. This is just made for many 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 people. Just a suggestion, you know. So decision making is really hard because you have to do decide. So this case, that song good. Maybe work on root 37, watch out your third, you know, thumb and relax and play like a little bit slower. One, two, three, four, ta, pa, a ta, pa, a ta, ta, a ta, ta, a, a, like that, you know, okay? Then chord solo, ta, 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 hard to do. That's really hard to do, you know? So like, you have to go... That's like harder to move because you have to have a left hand really light. So you have to go... Like that, practice slowly. So idea is, this book is etudes, like ice throwing everything in one song. So you can do, you can divide each section and do not decide how long to practice, how fast to practice. Slow, no metronome on the beginning. Here's the thing, so that was based on Blues for Alice. 
if you if you never ever played jazz blues, then that's so hard. You're just jumping. So, that case, if it's a private lesson, if you like the song, we have to play F jazz blues. If you don't know F jazz blues, make sure to play F, F blues. Then you set up your metronome a little bit slower, you know, like that. A one. A two, a one, two, three, four. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> and one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. Ah, ah, so I know any guitar you pick any time, you have to keep in time. So if you cannot keep in time, then this tempo isn't good. See, so many places you have to kind of check mark, you know? Yeah, but you don't want to be too, too um, picky. You have to be medium picky, do you know what I mean? Because you have to make it better. In order to make it better, you don't want to overdo it. Or you don't want to go over something you cannot do. That's why foundation always. So in this case, blues for Alice, jazz blues, regular blues. Okay, tempo, way slow. Rhythm guitar first, maybe triads next, four notes next, walking bass line, like that. So so you see, it, it, it's it. This book it just jump pack idea on nine different songs but that's I achieved in many years then I put together so when you do this you are kind of doing undoing undoing each one so today's topic really simple whatever you pick make sure tempo is really slow and make sure every note articulation is really good Left hand, really relaxed, not so much grabbing like that, picking, not too hard, and play slowly. Play two, three times smoothly. It doesn't work, don't worry. Pick something a little bit simple, something like that. So please write here any request or any question you have. I love to answer, but I think like this, kind of short video, just answer one topic each. I think you learn something, not just difficult thing. Okay? Thank you so much for watching Tomusta Music. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel Tomusta Music. And if you like learn more, guitar wisdom is the best place to go. Alright. See you soon. Thank you so much.